In the first video, we described how multiple sclerosis, or MS, is a disease of the central nervous system. Now, we'll take a closer look at how the immune system can turn against the central nervous system, or CNS, and interrupt communications within the brain and between the CNS and the body. In healthy people, the immune system is like a team of martial artists that defends the body against enemies such as bacteria, viruses, and even cancer. Much like the different types of martial arts, cells in the immune system have different types of defenses. B cells are one important defender in the immune system. B cells mature and their jobs change dramatically over time. You can tell what a B cell's job is by looking at proteins on its outer surface, which are like the differently colored belts worn by martial artists. B cells begin as stem cells in the bone marrow, which is like a place for martial arts training. Here, they learn how to become defenders and earn their first beginner belts, including CD19 and CD20 proteins. B cells move to different training centers, like the spleen and lymph nodes, to learn to identify the enemy and advance their training. Once they start circulating, B cells are always on the lookout for enemies lurking in the body. When B cells master their set of maneuvers, some move up the ranks to become plasma cells. Plasma cells have a different uniform, losing their CD19 and CD20 protein belts. Much like ninjas, plasma cells make and use weapons to fight. The weapons plasma cells use are called antibodies, and they always hit their intended target. In MS, two events happen which change how B cells normally work to defend the body against enemy attack. First, the wall that keeps B cells out of the brain in healthy people breaks down. This allows some B cells to enter the central nervous system. Second, once inside the CNS, rather than acting as defenders, they decide for unknown reasons to attack the body's own myelin the supportive insulation around nerve cells in multiple ways. Plasma cells can use their antibody weapons to attack myelin. These antibodies can cause direct damage or act as a homing signal that recruits other defenders in the immune system to attack myelin. B cells can also inform T cells, another defender, that myelin is the enemy. This type of T cell is like a sensei or trainer that teaches other types of T-cells to fight against myelin. Both B and T-cells send signals called cytokines through other types of defenders to the fight, which cause inflammation. B and T-cells can also band together to build a training center on the lining of the brain. This allows them to continue training and attacking the myelin for a long time. Scientists discovered that they could target specific B cells that trigger the attack on myelin by making antibody medicines that target the CD20 protein, but not other types of proteins. Antibodies that target only CD20 do not affect stem cells in the bone marrow, nor the plasma cell ninjas that have already been trained to fight specific enemies. This means that the immune system should still be able to defend the body against harm. Clinical studies have shown that antibodies that target the CD20 protein slow disease progression in people with MS and may potentially become a new treatment approach for people with MS.